All right, so uh, we're going to use the plasma cutter to chop some of this bent up metal out of here. I have this nice piece. This is 16 gauge. I believe this is 11 gauge. Uh, since we had a blowout on the bottom here before, I'm going to patch in a little. See what the plasma cutter is, the cut does not hop at all. So. It's good now. I'm trying to decide if I should cut this whole thing out or if I should just lay this over it. Probably neater if I butt weld it. lines. Alright, so I've got a nice squared off hole cut out of here now and I've got my piece of plate cut. Just need to straighten out this edge a little bit and uh, then we'll tack it a little bit and then we'll bend it and mold it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it on this end, and then once I tack it, then I'll start stitching it and bending it as I go. Let me get the welder set up. Okay, so I've got the uh, plate laid in place. Uh, I've got my new handy dandy clamps that I got at the um, Harbor Freight. I just have to figure out what I do with my gloves. And, uh, we can start tacking.
got some welds here, got some welds here, and I'm gonna pull these clamps out. I'm gonna finish welding that, and then I'm gonna start to bend this metal up. So. Okay, so what I've done is um, I've got a pretty good seam going right now, and what I've done is I've actually heated this piece of steel up with map gas torch and starting to beat it around with a hammer and, and get it to fit. Sorry about the camera moving around. I uh, can't really find a good place to put the camera with all the other crap I have laying around. So uh, I'll uh, give you another shot of this as I progress. All right, so you can see we've got we've got it a little closer. I'm gonna do a little more welding. And like I said, this is uh, this is 11 gauge, eighth, eighth inch, and this is 16 gauge, which is thinner than that. And uh, so what I've done is I've kind of set my settings halfway in between, recommended for this metal and this metal. And then what I've done is uh, I favor the thicker metal. And uh, it seems to be working pretty good right now. I'm not getting much burn through. Just give this a little top of the inside. Yes, and that metal's hot. It looks like we're done. Oh. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so all I gotta do is clean the inside out and uh, weld up this crack inside, and then we'll start to work on the pipe on the other end. Hey guys, so here's where we're at. I uh, welded the crack up on the inside here. I actually welded up on the back side also. Um, the case was coming apart, so I welded it here and there. Some stitch welds, I guess. And then, of course, our, our patch is done. And uh, that seemed to be the biggest wear area of the of the of the blower housing so i suppose that'll be nice and strong now that we've used a little bit heavier metal there and of course our stitching on the back so tomorrow i'm going to uh to work on this shoe so till then take it easy guys